Hi, my name is Jessica. I was baptized as a child, but I wasn't raised in the church. My parents stopped taking me at about eight, seven or eight years old. So I never really learned Jesus' message until much later in life. I was going through life with my own broken moral compass. When I was in my early 30s, I got married and had two kids. When my youngest was eight months old, my husband Steve died. Well, it wasn't a happy marriage. I was suddenly alone with two children and it was overwhelming and terrifying. And I felt really alone and I didn't realize that God was there the whole time with me. He was planning for me the whole time too. And in, in February of 2019, it was when Steve died and that September was when I had my um, 20 year high school reunion. And I was really looking forward to it. By that time, I was out of the fog of grief. And, um, but a few days prior to it, I started feeling anxious and thought, oh, who am I gonna have to talk to? None of my good friends from high school were gonna be there. But I'm glad I went because that's when I met Jackson. He happened to stop me as I was walking across the room at the reunion. And we started talking. We really hit it off and talked the whole night, though it took a it's a bit of convincing for him to get uh, from him to get me to go out with him, but eventually I said yes. And as I got to know him, he taught me about Jesus's message. He actually explained a lot of things to me about God and the Bible and Jesus that I had misunderstood with my limited spiritual education. And soon after that, I asked God for forgiveness for my sins and asked Jesus to be the Lord of my life and my heart. And um, it's funny because I, the, the occasional times that I would go to church before this as an adult, every once in a while I'd feel the Holy Spirit's presence in me. And But once I accepted Jesus into my heart, I can feel him anytime I really reach out to God, which is an amazing feeling. So long, not long after I met Jackson, we got married and we had a baby together. And um, we really look forward to raising our kids in, to know Christ. Psalms 68.5 says, A father to the fatherless, a defender of widows, is God in his holy dwelling. It really means a lot to me because he, he did provide a father to my children and a husband to me and brought me to know him throughout the, in the process. And his plan is just, was just amazing. It was just wonderful. And that's why I want to um, get baptized. I wanted to share that story with everyone and uh, just let everyone know how amazing God is.